In this screencast, I'll show you a final process configuration in which the simple heat exchanger can be used. So we'll click on simple heat exchanger and then we'll connect up some different streams. So we'll have an inlet for the hot side, an inlet for the cold side, an, inlet, uh, an outlet this time for the hot side, and finally an outlet for the cold side. We'll specify stream S1 as being 800 k moles per hour of methanol with a temperature of 365 Kelvin at atmospheric pressure. We'll specify stream S2, the inlet for the cold side, as being 1200 k moles per hour of water with an inlet temperature of 285 Kelvin and again a pressure of 101.33 K Pascals. The process conditions for the heat exchanger can be entered for both the hot side and the cold side. We've got process streams so we don't need to specify anything to do with utilities and then we need to click specification. In this example, I'll set the overall duty to be 1.3 times 10 to the 6 kilojoules per hour. And the configuration will leave as counter current. And we'll just have one pass on the tube side and one pass on the shelf side. This is now ready to run, so we click run. This is solved and now we can have a look at what it's done to our process streams. So the methanol started off at 365 Kelvin. And if we look at stream S3, we can see it's now been cooled down to 337 Kelvin. The cold side had water and if we review the data, we can see that that started at 285 Kelvin and ended up at 299 Kelvin. If we review the data for the heat exchanger, we can see this has a duty of 1.3 times 10 to the 6 kilojoules per hour, since that's what we specified. And if we click on this drop down menu, heat exchanger properties, we can see some additional information here. So that's a, another configuration in which a simple heat exchanger can be used.